from the uh, Team Brick team. I'm here at Rockingham today with Dave Player, who is here with Team Brit. I'd just like to have a little chat with you, Dave. Um, you are quite famous already, and I have known of you for a long time from Car Force. Uh, Team Brit is actually a, a leg of Car Force now. If you could just tell us a little bit of how you've made that transition and why. Yep, uh, the lads have been racing uh, for about four or five years now and karting, and Team Endurance karting. Um, and a few of them have wanted to step up to car, car racing, so um, we've set up Team Brit um, so the lads can step up from Team Endurance car racing to Team Endurance car racing. So the main aim for this is to get you to Le Mans. What's your uh, plan? How, how, long, how, how, before, how long before we can actually see you at Le Mans? Well, the lads never shy away from any challenge and... Uh, uh, they wanted to have something big to aim at and uh, I suppose there's nothing bigger than the, uh, the Le Mans 24 hours so uh, a long term aim is to get to Le Mans if all goes well maybe 2018 so that's, that's not that far off really um, yeah so that that, 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 that would be the, our ideal but uh, you know we need funding we need sponsors and uh, the lads need to perform well um, so we've got to try to have an accelerated driver development programme so the lads can, um, can can catch up. I mean, Danny today, first time ever in a, in a car. Um, uh, his qualifying lap time was 1:35, and um, David Pittard, our driver coach, who's a Geneta vice champion, did a 132. So he's only three seconds off. And it's his first time ever in the car. This is the first time out in the golf as well. Is that right for all of you today? Yes, yeah, first time ever in the car. It's the first time they've ever been in a race car. They've never driven it. So it really is quite an amazing feat to be able to do this. Is, it, is this, would you say, a test today? Today, today is, is a test. It's a test for the car. It's a shakedown for the team. Um, there's lots of things we need to change in the car. Um, the, the refueling system you know, for team endurance uh, racing is different from um, uh, sprint racing. Um, so th this is all about getting the car ready uh, for the season ahead give the lads a chance for the first first time in the car um, and get and basically prepare the whole team. So how many drivers have actually moved over from kart force to the cars? Four. Um, we've got Mark Allen who's a double amputee. Um, he was 19 when he was blown up. One of the youngest youngest British soldiers to become a double amputee. Uh, Martin uh, who's racing today he's got 75 degree bur 75 percent burns. Uh, his vehicle was blown up in an ambush and he was shot twice uh, whilst he was on fire. Um, then we've got Danny, who's Welsh, uh, from the Welsh Guards. Um, he got injured in an ambush as well, uh, the IED blast. Um, and Simon Khan, who is um, uh, an off ex-officer, uh, he had his leg amputated. Um, but he had a can cancerous tumour in his leg. So are you actually recruiting still? Um, or would you say your teams are full? For each year, there's, there's many, many wounded soldiers that are obviously coming out of the military. They don't know where to go. This is actually a life force for them. So are you still encouraging people to come in and train with you? Absolutely, yeah. Um, there's, we've got about 20 lads in, in, uh, in cart force. And now that they've seen what, what these, these lads are achieving, they're starting to become far more dedicated in the cart racing. Uh, we've actually got two girls, and one girl wants uh, a single ambition is to join Team Brit. And we said, great, you can join Team Brit, but you've got to prove yourself on the track first. Well, this is the thing, it's not a simple thing to do, and there is a saying that you don't need all your limbs, just British Bulldog balls, and that is absolutely true, because many of the drivers out there are so experienced, they've done this from a very, very young age, So, and this is all new to your boys, so have they gone into it a little bit scared, or have they...? They're, they're like, they're nervous and excited on the, on the same levels, so, um, um, but... All, everything we've achieved now is, is because we're a strong team. Um, we've achieved together because what the lads have achieved. And their, their determination, their, their desire to, to achieve is what drives us forward. Are you only going to um, encourage drivers from Cart Force or will you encourage new drivers that didn't come through Cart Force? No, we, we, uh, we, I think it's, we can't have... Um, rookies come straight into a car I think they've got to come they're going to have some race experience so what the ideal scenario is is that 
people um, cut their teeth in karting, build some race experience, and then and then come over in cars. Daniel, we've got about 20 minutes left now. We're doing a driver change. You've just jumped out of car 137. How do you feel that went? Um, it actually went pretty good, to be honest. Um, the car was spot on. Um, I put some good laps in, I've just been told now, because we've got no comms, so um, it's looking well, to be honest. So, you've been driving with Team Brit for how long now? Um, this is our first race now, so um, it's, it's going all right, to be honest. So this is your first time out in the golf, is that right? Yeah, it's our first time out, yeah. So endurance racing is what you're actually aiming to do, isn't it? Uh, yeah, we're hoping to get to the Le Mans 24 hour and compete in that. How long are you actually in the car for, for this stint today? Um, I've just done an hour and a half, I have, so um, I think Martin's jumping in now for another 20 minutes and I go out for another 20 minutes. So you've done quite a bit really then, haven't you? Yeah, it's actually boiling in the car, sweating and I am now coming off. But no, it's good fun to be honest, it's really good fun. Well, in this country, we don't often see this glorious weather, so you're suffering a little bit today, I'm afraid. No, it's all right. We're used to the heat from Afghan, really, but obviously we haven't been there for two and a half years, so it's getting used to the heat again now. Well, this is it. It's getting used to everything, isn't it? There's, there's massive changes now in your daily routine. We know that you're actually having uh, training to... Um, you're having coaching to go from the cart force from the cart into the cars. Yeah, we're, um, we're actually getting trained by um, David Pritchard, um, He's, he's doing well to be honest so he's, and we're with I zone as well um, but no it's a big step from kart into car racing but it's the same principles Just for you, do you have a preference, karting or cars? Uh, cars now, definitely cars now More exciting? Uh, yeah it's more it's more, um, how can I explain it? Uh, it's a lot harder in a way um, you've got to be a lot more um, like finesse with a throttle and all kinds of stuff like that. So with a car, with a well, with a car, you can throw it around, but a car you can't do that. And of course, there's a more element of danger with the cars more so than karting. <laughs> yeah, a lot more to be honest. You're going a lot higher speeds, um, but there's obviously going to be a lot more in car racing. But that's the way it is. And there's more opportunity for races as well with cars. Uh, yeah, definitely a lot more. But it's just the funding, really. That's that's all we need. Just get the funding, and we can go racing again. So just tell us a little bit about the car then, how you got that ready for the race. Um, we didn't actually get it ready, it's um, uh, Newbridge, Motors Newbridge Motorsport done it actually. Um, I'd like to thank them really, because they've done a lot for us. As in there, they're looking after the car today, so it's really good fun working with them and having them on board with us. Bro, well you're doing very well today, congratulations, thank you very much. Cheers, thank you very much. Motorsport are fifth despite their earlier dramas. Team Brit are sixth and they win their class, which you mentioned they were leading it earlier on. There they go across the line. The uh, Martin Compton, Dave Pittard, and Danny Holland driven car. Another really great job. They are sixth and the Circle Science Highland after they led late off are seventh place. Confirmation of the result. In the end, it was actually less than one lap between the top two because the Ian Lawson anti Wiles Mike Wiles Z4 was uh, only just over a minute behind. So you'd have to say, actually, if that race had gone on for maybe another 10 or 15 minutes, we could have seen uh, an even closer battle to the chequered flag. But it's Oz Yusuf and Rob Weldon with the win. Second place, Ian Lawson anti Wiles Mike Wiles and uh, Guillaume Grouchet rounding out the podium positions here at Rockingham.